good about themselves to start this on. Bryce Cox got the 12, Ty Webster's got seven, Brady Maddox in two threes. Everybody's really moving the ball well as we say that. They have a nice little turnover. McCarran feeds Drimmick, rush into the hoop. First score of the second quarter to Adelaide. Four shooting plus two assists. Was making things happen. Here he is against McCarran. Can't connect. Daniel John, who decides to go from solo. Now they're none of ten from long range. Well done, McCarran, to keep it alive. Cleveland in the paint this time from closer range comes up with his first score. Oh, some rest and recovery because Mitch Norton in particular is a hell of a player as is Toddy. It's a nice little play there out of the timeout and I'll tell you what, Damien. Two points since quarter time. Chance now for Cleveland. A little undecided. Puts it on the deck against Corey Webster. Wants to take him on. Likes the matchup. Can't convert. Tranek. He caught it. Fired quickly and came up with the goods. He's three of four from long range for his nine. Well, if he played in any, any of those games on a ship that the college teams played on, maybe he's played in a few open air games. He's feeling pretty good about himself. On to Sean Thomas. The veteran goes at him. Spins baseline. Looking to draw contact. Put everything in the jar to, to make the finals and have a success. It's maybe not their time. Jade in the second term. Franks takes the nudge and is off to the free throw. An army under the sun. Just blocked there from Antonio Cleveland. Dramatic danger man. Oh, oh, oh. Has drew a foul in the process. Two tough threes now, but when you're an elite shooter, you've knocked down a couple. Wildcats. Oh, Clinton upstairs for the flash. Adelaide have got big problems. Margin balloons out. I just don't see that desperation, especially on the defensive end. Or even on the offensive end of just really knowing that every possession matters. Your season can be on the line here. Johnson turns baseline. That's another team's most of the season. Adler Manic decides to fire again from the other wing. Oh, this is some sort of show. Well, they need to get something going and quickly. And Franks finally does up. They miss their first 10 threes. Franks breaks the drift. The, the previous three contests, they're 13 and 47 from deep. But in the last couple of games, the last four rather, they're 40%, so we know they can do it. It's just making sure they do it at the right time in the context of their possessions. But found a way beyond the cap. Rory Bryce cotton out of it. Couldn't finish it from close range. Another in his Corey Webster making things happen. So right now, if it's not a three from Brady Matt, those elite three point shooters, you designate them as the hot guy, and you've got to make sure you run them off the three point line. They do not attempt another three, get them to take some layups. To get them out of their rhythm. Hangs up short. Look out their pass to Sean Thomas is dunking on Adelaide at the other end and the margin is contact test. The roof is off and so is Perth in terms of scoring. Prolific in this opening half with 52 points. Franks, same spot, same result as he knocks it. They've got a healthy buffer here inside the last four minutes of the first half. And Corey Thomas is getting wide open. And that from the reigning defensive player of the year. Would know that better than most. Here's Corey Webster, pocket pass, feeds Wagstaff. He wants to get involved. Right off that and get their own confidence as we see it become a three point shootout. Thank goodness. Robert Franks right now. Yeah, five of seven threes against Hobart on Thursday night in Hobart. It's Travis. A mighty task. Slow down the Wildcats, they're feeling this good right now. 20 of 30 from the field, 67%. As I mentioned, from three point territory, and eight of 10. Wagstaff slaps it in, look away pass. Corey Webster in the corner, but knocks down the ninth three of the first half. The field, just unstoppable right now, are the Perth Wildcats. Cleveland adds to his. What a display this has been. Highest scoring first half of the season, 65. The New Zealand Breakers against Brisbane in round eight could be in some jeopardy here. Inside, feeds Cleveland, who finds Franks operating from close range and a turnaround all the bottom of the net. He's got 12. Other players to step up and step up on the defensive end. Well, I mean, that's a layout for Bryce Conn. I think anytime they get into layout, getting downhill or a simple ball screen, an extra pass, a wide open three, there's just no real effort to try and fight through the ball screen as Brady Manick blocks Kai Soto. And he's up to bear. Franks ready to go again. Oh, this has been good as well. Sure. Sean Thomas, Travers, Corey Webster elevating, getting it done. Chance at a three-point play. Franks gets it from Cleveland. Why not? Hands over now to Clark, who wills to the foul line. Wants to go back to Franks. Did well to control the pass and was then patient. Couldn't get it. Went on a five-point barrage. Bryce Cotton misses that one. 
Fox Cotton was the member of the fitness test. It was a game fitness test to play. He's got 16 points, 5 of 8. I think he's feeling pretty good about himself. Clark trying to invent something off the window. Harris, the offensive rebound. And now Ian Clark in the corner is off the mark. This is the last play. They find the man that they wanted. Franks can't convert. Manic has it to Cotton. For the last play of the first half, Cotton back to Manic, who fires on the buzzer. Couldn't get it done, but the Perth Wildcats.